Destiny 2's latest expansion, Forsaken, is about to rock players' worlds by bringing some of the coolest new additions to the game since the series debuted in 2014. And yes, that's awesome. But we're pretty sure there are plenty of you out there thinking, maybe that is awesome, but what exactly is Destiny even about? Good question. To an outsider, or say the somewhat baffled roommate of a devoted player, Destiny probably seems like a ton of weird space pirates and talking floaty machines that people play while talking to their friends on headphones. But it turns out there's such an incredible amount of lore packed into the first two games, so if you're even the slightest bit interested in playing Destiny 2, here's everything you need to know about both games in just two minutes. And go. Okay, so a long time ago in a galaxy far away, yes, it applies to other properties too, there was a huge sphere in the sky called the Traveler, which was basically instrumental in helping humanity get itself together and launch everyone into space to do some serious colonization. But the Traveler's enemy, which yes, is darkness itself, sought to harass the Traveler and precious humanity, so the Traveler sacrificed itself for us, and with that, the human race splintered and other races decided to move in and pick at the bones of the golden age for humans. But before the Traveler died defending humanity, it used its own life force light to raise ghosts to a point various soldiers throughout the colonized worlds to be guardians. That's you. Big rugged types with a huge arsenal of guns and stuff. You and all your guardian buddies have set up shop in a place that very simply calls itself the city, where the shadow of the traveler remains. Tasked with restoring humanity to its former glory and fighting off aliens like the Hive, the Fall, and the Cabal, and the Android-esque Vex series, you meet various characters from different points of the Destiny storyline that eventually get fleshed out further in the main game's DLC expansions. But for the most part, though, it's humanity, aliens, and you're the good guys, subject. Destiny 2, meanwhile, is a whole new ball game, which still pulls from the same lore of OG Destiny, but this time around, humanity has to take on the Emperor of the Fallen Cabal Army, Dominus Gaul, who, as expected, is up to no good, and attacks the Dormant Traveler. The Traveler, however, is encapsulated in some sort of barrier, and this creates a massive problem because before, the Guardians were immortal because of the Traveler's light. But the light is gone, kind of a problem. So Gaul's Red Legion army takes over the city, threatening to bring about the downfall of the Guardians. Even though Gaul wants to be selfish and take the Traveler's Light to use it for himself and remain immortal, there are a ton of Guardian survivors who aren't about to let him get away with it. And it's your character who ends up becoming one of the only immortal Guardians left in the world. You come to find out that there's another race Skull has up his sleeve, a super weapon that can take out entire solar systems. I am yeah, that. It goes without saying that he needs to have his ass kicked, so players work to do that at the end of Destiny 2, where he's inundated with tons of the Traveler's light, which in turn, get this, wakes the Traveler who proceeds to totally waste Gaul. The Traveler then restores the Guardian's immortality with its light, and with the exception of the expansion DLC, that's all she wrote, folks. Stop the clock, please. What's gonna happen with the Traveler and the rest of the Guardians? Who's gonna be the next big bad? You'll have to find out as the story continues with the latest expansion, though you can bet it's gonna be something that requires a lot of player grinding, which is, after all, your destiny in these games. It's wordplay. Embrace it. You love it.